Hi everyone and welcome to Danka Praktik. It seems that summers are getting hotter and hotter every year and keeping the house cool is getting ever more complicated. Even with the air conditioning turned on, when it's extremely hot outside, you may have problems keeping the room temperature down. This video will show you some common, easy and cheap ways that we use to keep the house cool and besides that, with all of this, you can save some money on the electric bill through less usage of the air conditioning. So stay tuned. Danke Praktik. Besides this, you can watch our other videos where we show you how to assemble, clean and disassemble an above ground pool. This is also a good remedy for those very hot days, it isn't that hard to do and the pool is fun for the whole family. The link for the videos is in the description and in the cards in the corner. Block the windows. The first and simplest thing you can do is to cover the windows. The heat that gets through the windows seriously raises the room temperature and covering the windows can prevent that to some extent. You can use various covers, we recommend either simple cardboard or even better some old cloth. Cloth is better since it won't get damaged in case of a sudden summer rain. The cover is best hung or stuck from the outside of the windows so the main principle of all this is to not let the heat get into the room in the first place. We use two most common ways as you can see here. We either keep the cardboard in place with some small wooden boards or keep them in place by closing them with the window. Another option are thicker curtains on the windows but these have less effect since the heat already gets inside the room. Use window awnings. Window awnings have been used for hundreds of years to keep the house cool. There are several types, the retractable ones are perhaps the most popular and convenient. In our case we've made an awning of our own which we can disassemble and remove. We'll make a video specifically on this topic so you can see how we made it. In any case whichever type you choose it will maintain constant shade and thus keep the temperature low in the room it protects. If you have awnings in the right places, mainly on the bigger windows and terraces, you might not even need to turn on the air conditioning in some cases. Use the draft wisely. By this we mean to use the airflow within your house wisely. What we do is open the windows in a specific pattern. We close the windows that are heated by the sun and open the ones that are in the shade. This way the draft cools down the rooms but doesn't let the heat in. The downside of this tip is that you have to pay attention to the movement of the sun and how you open and close the windows. Bit more work but it's pretty effective. Keep the front door closed. Most of us have a habit of keeping the front door open during summer to get more fresh air into the house. In case of keeping the house cool without an air conditioning this is a big no-no. Lots of heat gets inside the house this way and a lot of cool air gets out. Best to keep the door closed as much as possible. Let's do all this in the morning. For the last tip, best apply all of the previous tips early in the morning while the sun still isn't that harsh. By doing this it's easier to maintain the pleasant morning cooler temperature and keep the temperature down during the day. For the end we would recommend using a combination of all these methods. During the summer, in our case, the awning is mounted all the time. Early in the morning, the windows are opened to let some fresh air into the house which also helps cool down the rooms. The moment the sunlight starts heating up the room, the windows are blocked with cloth and somewhere with cardboard. If you do all this on time, you can keep the house cooled down and turn on the air conditioning occasionally or sometimes you won't have to turn it on at all. It's fair to also mention that all this may not be aesthetically pleasant. We keep our house protected like this all the time during the summer, but buying the same type of cloth and using it makes it all look much better. So that's it for this time. We hope the video helps. Please like and subscribe. It's a huge help for what we're doing. Thanks for watching and thanks for your time.